Welcome back to Golf Center TV. I'm Steve Gerald with TV Worldwide, and we have with us Sadakar Sanoi, who is an IT ex executive here in Northern Virginia, but also an avid golfer. And just a minute ago, you were over here looking at these Callaways saying, hey, 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 what's this? What's new over here? That's right. So your love of the game, where was it born and where did it originate? Oh, well, you know, I started playing golf when I hurt my knee playing tennis. And when I realized that uh, I could no longer play tennis the way I wanted to play it, I decided that golf is probably the game I should take up. And that was about seven years ago. I see. And since then, you know, uh, I've begun to love golf and it's been a lot of fun. We hear so much about golf as a business tool. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I tend to fully agree with that. I do a lot of business on the golf course. Uh, of course, when I tell my wife that, she doesn't believe it, <laughs> but that's the truth. You know, I do do a lot of business on the golf course, and uh, I have several stories where you know, uh, I've closed some rather large deals uh, you know, on the golf course, and uh, golf, has, golf has become a, a major part of uh, how you do business. Why is that, do you think? Have you, have you taken time to think about what, what it is about the atmosphere, the game itself, the <laughs> Absolutely. camaraderie? Absolutely. Golf is the only game, I think, where you're able to sit with your uh, potential client, if you will. Customer, partner. Customer, partner, in a golf cart where he's a captive audience. Okay, Take any other sport, whether it's tennis, Football, uh, I don't care which sport it is, okay, you cannot get somebody mm -hmm. in that exclusive manner for four and a half hours. The only other way I know to do that would be to take him out to dinner or put him in an airplane and take him somewhere with you in that airplane where yes. he is your captive customer. Yeah, and Golf affords you that opportunity to actually have that person there with you for a good four and a half hours. And if uh, things really aren't going well and you want to extend it, you can always do that by another half hour this way or that way, you know. So uh, <clears throat> that's why I think golf is a great game. And, and it's also a game that it certainly is a business tool, but also we see a lot of charity events where people come together and will benefit a nonprofit association. Yeah. Any thoughts from you on, on what the drawing card is there? What the well, you know, is? I've been a par part of many, many, many uh, golf events. Okay, either as a uh, chair for the event or as a participant. Okay, once again, uh, it's an opportunity to invite uh, three other people to go with you and uh, spend some quality time. Okay, while having fun. And there's no pressure per se to uh, 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 to win, if you will. You know, I mean, you're mm -hmm. doing it for fun. You're doing it for the networking advantages. You're doing it to build com camaraderie, if you will. You know, uh, th there's also another aspect of golf. You know, it doesn't matter how good or bad the person you're playing with is. Okay, whereas in tennis. You know, if I am a 4.0 or, you know, 4.5 player or a 3.5 player, and if I'm playing with somebody who's a 2.0 player, mm -hmm. it's a nuisance because I find myself picking up balls more often than hitting them. I see. Whereas in golf, I could be playing with a person who's a 30 handicap, okay? And it really doesn't affect my game because I'm not playing against him. I'm actually playing against the golf course. Uh, you know, so, so different level players can get together and play the game. Uh, uh, there's something else that's becoming more and more part of the game of golf today, and that is technology. Yes. What are your thoughts there? Oh, I think it's great. You know, I mean, here I am. Uh, Washington Golf Center was, uh, uh, you know, is absolutely great in introducing me to all the latest technologies and Randy here who is the head here and, and Jane you know, who is the senior executive VP here, they make it a point to tell me when new technology comes in and I'll tell you one thing, uh, for a person like me as I grow older I find the ball going lesser distance, you know, however with the newer kinds of technologies uh, you know I can keep up the level of my game and feel good about myself. You know, uh, I recently bought a set of clubs from Ocean Golf here, and uh, I tell you what, my handicap actually came down probably about five points. Oh, wow. You know, which is great. Uh, about eight or nine strokes, you know, uh, per round of 18. Uh, you, know, you, you know, thereby proving the old adage that you can buy a golf game. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm so glad to have a chance to yeah, talk to you. Thanks very, very much. Thank you. Thanks.